Welcome everyone back to another video on the channel and this video here is very very special because after years of talking about doing this to the blue Corolla today is a day that we are finally unboxing the turbo kit for the 1ZZ. That's right, right here is <laughs> the most expensive car parts I've ever bought, but it will be totally worth it. And I've got a few extras over there, which I'll show you once we get all of this out of the box. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take all the stuff out of the box because there's a lot to show here. Let's do it. So I'm going to be going in order here from smallest box up to largest box here. So let's get it. This right here, I already know what's in here. This is the Boom Slang Harness for the Piggyback ECU. Now this package was drop shipped to me, meaning that TurboKits.com didn't directly send me this package. Uh, this came directly from Boom Slang, who, like I said, makes the, uh, the ECU harnesses. And here we go. Here it is. So check that out. This is the wiring harness. And look at that. This is uh, definitely a wiring harness that I couldn't make, uh, at least uh, not with my current knowledge, because this is a lot of wires. This probably there's probably a couple hundred wires on this thing. Wow. All right. Well, we're off to a great start here, and it's come with a little sticker here. We'll set this off to the side here and keep going. Next up, we've got a larger package, but also not as large as this one, not as heavy either. So let's see what's all in here. Wow, hello packing peanuts. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is going to be a mess. Okay, so this must be intercooler piping. Oh, this, ah, uh, um, it's gonna make, the packing peanuts are gonna make a mess anyway, might as well. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. So this, uh, there we go, that is, <laughs> I, was I was meaning to unbox this one last, but all right, there we go. Well, this is where the MAF sensor goes into, uh, and yeah, all righty. It's one of the pieces, I think there's five more that <laughs> I need to take out of here. All right, here's the second one. There we go. Intercooler pipe number two. This is number three. It'll eventually get out. There we go. And that's everything. All right, it's it's not five, it's four intercooler pipes. Aha, here we go. So this must be what connects to the turbo. This is the smallest one. And, yep, there's no more in here. So now <laughs> I've got some packing peanuts to clean up. And then we're getting to the main box here. There's gonna be some very cool stuff in here. I made a way bigger mess here than was necessary. <laughs> Whoops. And here we go. This is the last box of the TurboKits.com kit. This is the largest and the heaviest box out of the bunch. So it's uh, pretty clear what's gonna all be in here. And as you can see, it's just a box. There's a box in a box. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just a cover. So what have we got here? We've got business card, we've got sticker, and we've got a checklist of everything included in here. Well, actually, I was right in saying there was a box in a box. I mean, there's this box here, which, uh, based on the weight, I have a pretty good guess at what's in here. So we'll save this box for last. Here we've got a vibrant performance box. So this must be the intercooler. Now, when I ordered this from turbokits.com, they didn't have the turbokits.com intercoolers that these normally come with. So they've given me the vibrant performance one instead. So the mounting spot is just a little bit different with these, uh, not majorly and uh, you'll see this in the install video. But let's take it out of its confinement here. We've got some mounting hardware, very nice. And then we've got another box in here. I'm about halfway through the unboxing and I'm already drowning in boxes. <laughs> oh dear, where did I put the scissors? 
They've gone missing. Scissors are gone. Why does? Why do I always do this? Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Let's go. Very, very nice indeed. It did, however, look like it took a small hit during shipping. Uh, these are supposed to be straight, and they're uh, they're not. But not a big deal. These should just bend out just fine. Either way, that's not a big deal at all. I'll just show this side because this is the uh, the good looking side. <laughs> and there we go. So this is the Vibrant Performance Intercooler. It doesn't really say anything on it. Uh, it doesn't say Vibrant Performance anywhere on it. It's just a blank intercooler, which is fine. And here's something I want to try. What is the size comparison to the top mount intercooler right there in my WRX? Let's see. Ooh, it's actually pretty similarly sized. Uh, the Mishimoto that I've got here in the WRX is a little bit larger, but overall it's actually, I wonder actually, I think the Vibrant intercooler is a little bit thicker than the Mishimoto one I've got on here. Oh, we've still got way more stuff in here to take out. KNN. Something tells me this may or may not be the air filter. <laughs> I don't know. I just have a little feeling. I've got a KNN already in the car, but yeah, this is the one that's going to go on there. What else have we got in here? We've got a lot of couplers. Let's see. Coupler number one. Boom. Coupler number two. And we've got coupler number three. And we've got some hardware here, so hose clamps, uh, plastic tees, uh, and some other small little fittings, uh, which we'll need. Let's put these off to the side. Now let's go digging. Let's see, what is this? This must be <laughs> uh, for the boost gauge, at least that's what I'm assuming it is. Looks like it, or, well, it's a vacuum line. I guess vacuum line's gonna be used for boost gauges. Now let me show you what I've got in the Dishworks box. If you're uh, familiar with them, uh, you'll probably know that these are uh, for fuel, which unsurprisingly, these are fuel injectors. Plug and play harnesses and the actual Dishworks fuel injector. So these are 550cc, and as a comparison, the stock 1ZZ fuel injectors, I believe are 265cc. Uh, so yeah, these are a considerable uh, amount higher. What have we got in here? I actually don't know what's in this. <laughs> what is in here? Hang on. It's in a little uh, FedEx box or a little FedEx uh, envelope. What's in the mystery box? Mystery, it's more of a bag actually. What's in the mystery bag? Let's see. Okay, plenty of clamps. Alrighty. Not too much to show off. They're hose clamps of various sizes. Basically, in essence, more hardware stuff. Here we go. This is the AEM FIC. So yes, this is a piggyback ECU, the AEM FIC. Uh, I know it's not necessarily the best tuning device. Standalone is obviously vast superior, but uh, this is all I can get for, <laughs> for an 07. I could get a plug and play harness for an EMS-4 for this car, but <laughs> then where am I going to get the EMS-4 because it's discontinued? And then I couldn't really find any other uh, plug and play ECU options for this car, so it's alright. Plus, if I went with the FIC, TurboKits.com has given me a base map for it, so I can uh, at least drive the car before I get it tuned. So let's see in here. Lots of wires, more wires. This goes to the computer, or all to my PC, I should say, to my laptop. And then this is the actual AMFIC. And the tuner software disk. And installation <laughs> instructions. All right, fully loaded. What is this? We've got more hardware. Very nice, like to see that. And here is the downpipe. Welcome to the world. It's like birthing a small child. Well, I say small, and any. You know what, forget I ever said that, that was really cringe. <laughs> but here we go, nice little downpipe, looks pretty sweet. And just like everything else in this video, we're gonna set it off to the side. Forge, let's go, this is the blow-off valve. And look at them apples, hold on, let me take it out of the bag. And here we go, this is the Forge blow-off valve, which, uh, funny enough, I have another car here that happens to have a blow-off valve for me to compare it to. Oh, would you look at that? 
Here we go, Forge versus Go Fast Bits. Obviously for two different cars, but still, uh, it's at least some kind of comparison. Jeez, the Forge one honestly looks pretty cool, <laughs> with it being chrome as opposed to uh, black here. This blends in with the rest of the engine bay, and this stands out. And there we go, back into the box you go, just so I don't lose you. Sweet. Well, we're making it to the end of the box here. Only got a few things left. Uh, let's see, this is coupler number four, five, how many, however many. There's been a, a few. Let's see. I didn't even notice it said turbokits.com on it. Oh wow. That is a very cool touch. Ooh. I see a manifold. Welcome to the world, little turbo manifold. This one's also stamped with turbokits.com. This is pretty sweet because there is no mistaking where this turbo kit has come from. Turbokits.com is stamped everywhere, as they should. Very high quality kit. This is a very high quality part. Look at this. This is sweet. Let's go. Coupler number, I think this one is number five. Here we go. Coupler number five joins the party. Coupler number six joins the battle. Coupler number seven joins the battle. Let's go. We've got seven. Okay, we've got some hardware. This looks to be studs for the manifold. Well, actually, it looks more like studs for um, where the turbo goes on. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything. <laughs> oh, what a mess. And ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present to you the last box. We've unboxed everything in the turbo kit, except the turbo. So we've got lines here. So these are various uh, coolant and oil lines. Again, very high quality. I am not having any worries that these are going to leak. We've got gaskets, very nice. We are, of course are gonna need these, otherwise we get exhaust leaks and other leaks, and that's no good. And, ooh, what do we have in here? <laughs> I wonder, let's find out. My goodness, is that a turbo? It looks like it. Now before we unwrap the turbo, there is one more thing in this box. Two more things, <laughs> fittings and more fittings. Very nice. Sorry, it's really hard to make hardware exciting because <laughs> it's hardware. Obviously, all of you are, are coming to this video to see me unbox the turbo, of course, which we will do now. Woohoo! Okay, there it is. Welcome to the world, Sir Turbo Char This is a large turbo. <laughs> I was not expecting this inlet here to be to be this big. I'm pretty sure this is actually a bigger turbo than what's on my WRX. That is sweet. What? I was not expecting that. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Okay. There we go. The turbine feels just fine. Yes. Alrighty, now let's put the orange cover back on so I don't drop anything in there. But here it is, so this is the turbo, it's internally gated. Uh, of course, when I go to install this, I've got to clock the turbo. But we will do that when we actually put it in the car. There's no reason to do it now, because I actually have to see how it gets into the car first before I clock it. I know, this is sweet. Let's go! I am holding a turbo for my Corolla. <laughs> Who would have thought? You can probably tell if you know a thing or two about turbos, but uh, the turbo and my uh, my manifold and some other stuff is not coated. I decided not to get the uh, the optional ceramic coating on there. I just didn't think I needed it um, because it's kind of like $400. <laughs> and here in the gasket bag, as you can see, there is a piece of paper in here which we'll take out, and this is the turbo vibration report. So every turbo that turbokits.com or most other turbocharger companies, you know, they have to test it to make sure that the turbo is not screwed. And as you can see, 
The graph is looking very nice. There is a very, very minimal vibration, uh, slim to none. So as you can see by scale, uh, vibration level zero, one, two, three, four, and five. It doesn't even get to like 0 0.5. I guess this looks like 0 0.3 at, at here at uh, around 14,000 RPM. No, sorry, 140,000 RPM. I forget how fast turbos really spin. But yeah, it looks good. Everything here checks out just fine. And we've got the turbocharger instruction manual. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff about the turbo. Uh, about installing it and maintaining it, but there we go. This is the TurboKits.com 1ZZ Corolla Turbo Kit. However, if you thought this is all I was gonna show you, <laughs> no, 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 no. I have even more stuff to flex, I mean, to show you uh, regarding the installation of this kit. So let's get to it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a few months ago, I installed a Morasso oil pan into my Corolla XRS, but having one wasn't enough for me. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the second one. <laughs> That's right, I have another Morasso oil pan for the blue Corolla here, which uh, funny enough, you can't see in the shot right now. You might be confused as to why. Let me show you. Because using the stock oil pan means I've got to drill into it and uh, put a new fitting in. Not anymore. So this, funny enough, is also a vibrant performance part, just like my inner cooler. So as you can see, this is, uh, actually you can't even see it, it's out, it's out of focus. This, as you can see, is a straight barb and that is going to fit this Marasa oil pan super nicely. Now this here is for the turbo oil return lines. So obviously when the uh, turbocharger is done using the oil, it goes back into the oil pan here. So this fitting, goes right here. I suppose it can go here too, but this is a better spot for it. That way, instead of drilling anything, all I've got to do is just take this here out, put this in, and now I've got the perfect spot for my drain hose to return to. I've also got a little filter here for the valve cover. Uh, nothing super special or anything. Because with the turbo, this hose right here is going to magically disappear. So something's got to go in its place. And that something is this. And I've also got some extra gaskets. So donut gaskets and uh, O-rings for fuel injectors. But those already have some on there. Just, uh, just in case it needs extra, I've got them. But I don't really need them. And I've also got this oil pressure T as well, which I didn't realize that the TurboKits.com kit actually came with one, so I don't need this, but I've got it as a spare anyway. There you go, just uh, right there. Oh yeah, and then real quick, uh, bolts and stuff for the Marasa oil pan. Nothing much to see there, but we got this. This is a little exhaust coupler, so this, uh, originally my idea uh, which is still my idea actually, is to leave the stock exhaust on the car because uh, I don't have a three inch exhaust to, uh, to install on this. So, coupler, uh, this goes to the downpipe, this goes to the stock exhaust. However, this here is the downpipe. And what my idea was, was this would go over. But as you can see, it is the perfect size. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it is, so these are both three inch, uh, yeah, kind of made a mistake there. Bit silly on my end. I need uh, a slightly larger coupler here, which is okay. This is a manifold gasket. Uh, the turbo kit didn't come with one, so uh, I've got this one. There's nothing too much to say about it. This is an OEM Toyota exhaust manifold gasket. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's the part number for it in case you need it. Uh, you're welcome. What's this? It's another box, which I've already opened, so there's no point in doing an unboxing of it because, like I said, I've already opened the box. But here we go, so we've got high temp thread sealant, and I've got four of them, so uh, yeah, there we go. Nice one. We got a little gauge pod here. This just goes on the dashboard. It just sticks on, so I don't even have to drill anything. Super nice. And this is the gauge that I've got. So it's a glow shift. Uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, actually, I don't know if I made any videos installing glow shift gauges on this car, but uh, all of the gauges in the Subi are glow shift. Uh, I've got 
three digital ones and three analog ones, six in total, but my AFR gauge is not put in on that car yet. This is uh, really cool because it's both a boost gauge and an AFR gauge all in one. So normally I would buy both a boost gauge and an air fuel ratio gauge and had just have two gauges, but because of this, I only need this one gauge. Super nice, I only need one gauge in that car. I don't need six. <laughs> And then there's some extra stuff in this box. Uh, obviously, connections, hoses, the wideband O2 sensor, of course, and just a couple other small things. There's not uh, a lot to go over there. And last but not least, <laughs> the heaviest piece I've held today, the Optima Red Top battery. So you might be confused why I need a different battery. Don't worry, I've got you. So this is the battery that's currently in my car. This car is super dusty. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. This is currently the battery that's in here. Batteries on this car are normally group 35, not group 24F. This battery is from my mom's Sienna because it's uh, kind of old. It doesn't work anymore on that car in winter, but because this car doesn't need as powerful of a battery, it has been working just fine here. But as I now need room for intercooler piping, this has got to go. Even the stock 35 battery is a little bit too large uh, to fit intercooler piping. So this is the Optima Red Top, and as you can see, it is you know a fair bit smaller <laughs> than uh, than what's on here currently. So yeah, this is going to make sure I've got room for the intercooler piping, but also because this is soon to be a nine year old battery versus this is a brand new. So yeah, time for you to go bud. Now guys, I know what you're probably expecting me to say. You are expecting me to say something along the lines of, that is it for the turbo kit unboxing and uh, I'm gonna be installing it around next, uh, next year sometime, next August. Uh, after my emissions testing with this car. No, 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 no. We don't do that here on this channel anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next video, this turbo kit is going to be installed onto the blue Corolla. And by the end of next video, we will have a boosted 1ZZ here on the channel. Thank you everyone very much for watching today's unboxing video. And I will see you when we put all of this in the car. Goodbye.